my first instrument was the piano. Um, my parents, uh, I think I was six years old, and they asked me, what do you think about taking some piano lessons? And uh, I didn't really know any reason to say no. I said, sure, why not? And um, just stuck with it. And over the years, it um, sort of became sort of a part of my voice. Yeah, um, I studied classical piano for about 10, 11 years, and uh, I went to L.A. County High School for the Arts, and that's when I sort of started to focus more on jazz music um, and started meeting kids my own age who were really excited about the music, which was uh, very inspiring and sort of pushes you along also. Um, then I went to USC for two years, uh, studied with Shelley Berg. Um, then I went to Manhattan School of Music for my junior year, got to study with Kenny Barron that year, and then I came back to USC to finish up my degree uh, studying with Billy Childs. Um, so that's the formal education, um, but I think as, as a lot of people know, this music is, is really uh, a self-taught uh, art form, so um, the most valuable experiences are really just the records that you listen to over and over and over growing up, and uh, the jam sessions that you go to and get your butt kicked at, and um, so I went through all the the, uh, the usual dues paying, as it were, um, and uh, along with going to school. Um, no, I, I didn't really feel any sort of extra pressure. Um, I think this music is daunting enough for anybody, you know, and uh, uh, I think the advantages definitely um, outweigh any sort of negative aspects of, of coming from a musical family. Um, just being able to see the lifestyle behind the music, getting to see these, you know, the rehearsals and the sound checks and sort of the love that these grown men had for the music, grown men and women, but they would get together and just tell jokes and give each other hugs and it was a really loving environment. I think that's the main thing I took away from, from you know, being in a musical family. Um, but yeah, the, the, you gotta, you gotta surrender and, and be humble to the music regardless of where you come from. Some of my teachers and mentors, uh, obviously my father and my uncle, uh, my family, um, but I, I had the fortune of, of touring with Roy Hargrove for three years, which was a great experience. Um, Clark Terry, I got to work with him a little bit and that was really great. Um, Boy, the, the list is really long, um, but it's long because it's all my peers, it's all the people that I play with. I feel like every time I hit the bandstand with somebody, it's, it's a learning experience in some way. Um, so, you know, all my favorite musicians that I love to work with now, like Ambrose Accomusery and Dana Stevens and Gretchen Parlato, Sachel Vasandani, um, Logan Richardson, uh, Mark Turner, the list really goes on and on and on. Um, and uh, like I said, every time you play with them, you, you sort of, uh, you, you feel yourself expanding or growing in, in a certain direction. My first paid gig was at uh, like a country club somewhere in LA for uh, some sort of event for, I think it was like high school athletes or something. And at the time, I had mostly classical music in my repertoire and uh, a few like boogie woogie pieces. Um, and I just sort of cycled them over and over and over. Um, I don't even remember what it paid, probably under $100, maybe $50 gig or something. Um, but I think I was maybe 12 or 13, so that was a, it was a cool, big deal for me. The first record uh, that I fell in love with was Oscar Peterson, uh, Night Train. Um, I had just listened to that over and over and over until I was singing every single note. And um, at some point, I sat down at the piano and said, let me try to figure some of this out. Um, and still have to do some work on that end, but it's, uh, it's still one of my favorites. I still go back to that. Um, I, I was really into Oscar as a young age, so I was checking out Oscar Peterson plus Clark Terry, Trio Plus One, that's another uh, Desert Island record for me. Uh, Oscar Peterson with Milt Jackson, Very Tall, so that's all my Oscar stuff. Um, then I, you know, I went through all the greats, went through Herbie and, and Chick and Keith 
and Brad Meldow and Gonzalo Rubalcaba. So uh, the list is long now, but it, it all started from that, that first Oscar record. Yeah, times are, are certainly different. Um, you know, there's not as many bands to tour with year-round uh, and learn from the way that there were in, in back in the day with the Art Blakey band and Betty Carter. And um, But I think that there are still, um, there's a plethora of amazing musicians on the scene. And I think uh, it, you may have to be a little more proactive, but you can seek those people out and sort of still follow that old model of, of um, being an apprentice to, to a particular sound, a particular style, or a particular musician. So um, it's still possible, but I think it, it just takes uh, a little bit more proactivity 